What is happening? Welcome to another Pitch Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of a site called PitcherList.com, the best place to look up any sort of player with StatCast data. We have the number one player pages on the internet. You should do all your player research there. It's where I do it and how I learned about all the pitchers in the major leagues with gifts for every single pitch type. It's amazing. So go check it out, PitcherList.com. But today we are going to watch Taiwan Walker because he's done some amazing things. This guy has been on such a roll. He's been getting a lot more strikeouts than we're used to as well. And we're going to watch this game from yesterday against the Miami Marlins. He went seven innings, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sandy Alcantara, seven innings of shutout ball. But we're, we're going to watch the second inning as he got some of those strikeouts and see how he got those. So here is Taiwan Walker. And he starts it off with a 92-mile-per-hour fastball. And you expect a lot of those heaters. Everything kind of lives and dies by heaters from Taiwan Walker. 92 is a little bit low. Uh, normally, we would see more 93 94 i think in this one he sat 93.5 um, but he's just gonna attack a lot with it and there's a splitter then you love to see this this is really nice starting over the plate and then finishing off of it and a 2-1 count that's traditionally known as a fastball count uh, having the splitter that goes from here all the way down and inside um, that's what you want to see well watch that one more time and you can kind of see the movement out of the hand coming out i mean this is high up this is this is up here you know, it's going to come here, and then it comes down um, that way. Uh, as we keep going through it, you can see that trajectory down here, right? And where he makes contact, it's always interesting. Make sure you understand this. Where the, uh, you know, I think this is a mistake that a lot of people make when watching games. Is, is they think that where the dot is on the broadcast is where the pitch actually crosses the plate and where contact is made. But as you can see... This pitch is not being made out of the zone. The contact isn't being made outside the zone. Aguilar has to get out in front of this. And he makes it when it's still over the plate, technically. Uh, but where it's going to be in the broadcast is down here. And that's because when you make contact, it's actually out in front of the plate, not actually over the plate. And keep that in mind, especially for pitches like splitters and sliders and curveballs and whatnot. A lot of those pitches are still moving as they go to the plate. And by the time they arrive, they're off of it. But guys can still hit them. If they're out in front like Aguilar is here. Uh, so, so 2 2 now, you can throw a slider or a fastball here, whichever you want. Yeah, slider. Look at Aguilar. Oh, did he go? No, he didn't. But that's a very competitive one. I like that. You can go with the heater now and mess him up. Yeah. So, the timing of that was all different, right? You had the sub 90 mile per hour slider and splitter. And you didn't really see Aguilar catch up to that heater during that at bat. He tried to on the 2 1, got messed up with it. Didn't really know what Walker was going to go with at 3 2. Uh, not the greatest spot for your fastball. Like, if he is looking for a heater here, he's going to do something with it. But he gassed it up a little bit at 94 um, and, and pushed it past Aguilar. I, I think that against a different hitter, that might be a little different. Good job getting the first pitch free real estate there. I don't know what's going on here. Tried to call for time, but I'm glad he didn't give it to him. Give it to him too late. Yeah, he already started the windup. He's asking for it. You know, he lifted his leg and he's asking for it. Nope, too late. Way to get that over, Walker. I'm proud of you. That's free real estate. We've gotten it anyway, I'm sure. Uh, now at 01, fastball. Uh, they tried to do it. He tried to do a slider, I think, inside. Maybe something like a cutter, really. Uh, looks like the splitter they missed there at 2 1. He could probably blow a fastball away. Yeah. 94. Ezu Sanchez couldn't catch up to that. So if you can't catch up, to do it again, right? Nice job going in and out there. I really like that. Uh, the previous pitch. Uh, coming away here, right? And now, because uh, this is an interesting theory of Jesus Sanchez just swung and missed on this pitch away, right? And I often talk about if you see a guy get beat on something, you do it again. You don't give him the benefit of the doubt that now that he's seen it, he's going to be better. But what you can do is also then do something else. Because now that Sanchez is thinking about that away fastball, that he's going to be thinking about that one so that he doesn't adjust to the inside one which is what he does here right so i leave that one here i leave the, that mark so you can kind of see this is a big gap here right between those two and that's why sanchez is now trying to make sure he catches up to this which means he is so not ready to deal with that inside one and so what how does the contact look well look where it is it's 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 too inside you want it more in the barrel here and get some jammed and Easy out uh, for our number two there, right? Fastball, but he gets a call. Oh, that's nice. Now you can throw some free real estate. Yeah, 
Yeah, beautiful. That's a really nice. Oh, that's a really nice 01 slider. I mean, this is a strike either way. You know, you nail this, like you get a strike. This is what executing your pitches look like. A really nice slider there. Uh, O2, I would throw another one just a little bit farther away now. Ah, it's a mistake. <laughs> look at that. I mean, he's not really reacting that way, but see that that landed over here. But if that landed over here, you probably get him. Probably like there is perfect because the previous one was here, right? And you made a worse one. You want to make one farther down. So it's frustrating to see that because he swung on at me as he should have because it would have been strike three. But you would imagine he would have chased the one down away. And so now you could say, okay, let's go down away again because he's swinging at it. And it's like, execute a good one. But I think that's honestly in his head right now. I would go a heater up personally. Yeah, that's what he tried to do. 96, look at that, Walker. I would do it again because now... It, I talk about it in reverse a lot. You throw a fastball, 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 and then you throw a slider, and the batter thinks, okay, I've earned another fastball. This is the reverse. You threw slider, slider, and then a fastball, and then traditionally now you go back to the slider after showing the fastball. And I think Anderson would be ready for that down and away. I would throw another fastball up here. Yes! Totally, totally froze him. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Because Anderson sees this and thinks it's going to fall off like a slider. He's ready for the slider. Not uh, not quick enough to change his his guesswork, right? It's too fast. He thinks it's away or something. He's not. Yeah, yeah. he's just upset. Good job, Taiwan Walker. Oh, some nice sequencing. I loved it. Um, 95 as well, and not the 92 we saw in the first two pitches. Um, he's a giant man. You can like you forget how large these people are. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, that's Taiwan Walker. And what we saw last year was a lot of success just with the fastball. I'm seeing a little bit more of the splitter being helpful and the slider having some good execution as well. It feels a little bit more like the supporting cast is doing just a bit more. And yeah, he's not going 94.8 or whatever it was last season. It's more 93.5, which is a tick down. But it's working, and I want to believe that Taiwan Walker can continue doing this. Uh, it's exciting stuff for him. So hopefully he can keep it up. The Mets need it in that second half. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and all of that. And may your bats be low and your strikeouts high.